Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on! Come on! Amos! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarlane. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck a fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> Hurry, sir! I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog! You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished! Done for! Just sit up straight, will you? Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. <laughs> I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. 
Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Shit. Keep your head down. Help! Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal! These are people's lives! People's homes! You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you. But I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Bitch, you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs>